This is the Juan Seguin Historic Park, Part 2. There's the San Jacinto Monument in the background. There's my truck. And we're going to show you, or I'm going to show you, more of this park. I have a gazebo up here. It's pretty cool. Juan Seguin Park, dedicated 2018. And it's very well done, very beautiful park. And check this out on the concrete. It's kind of like a map that shows you the Gulf of Mexico. It says West Bay, Galveston Bay. There's Galveston, Galveston Island. It's like a map on the floor. Boulevard Peninsula, East Bay. More of Galveston Bay. Smith Point. It even has it in detail. There's Alexander Island. San Jacinto Monument. San Jacinto, Lynchburg, and of course, Houston. Pretty cool, huh? Great place to have a brunch or picnic and enjoy the ships and boats going by. There's a beautiful American flag. Some palm trees. Dolphins in Galveston Bay. It says, keep dolphins safe in Galveston Bay. Come here, you'll want to bring some binoculars. It says Galveston Bay is home to common bottlenose dolphins, a federally protected species. That's good. That's good to know. Juan Seguin port his port story. Oil fields, the success of the prolific new oil field. Spindle Top prompted additional exploration in the Gulf Coast area, especially on similar salt domes. A series of economically significant discoveries at the Goose Creek oil fields. Ocean shipping. Lynchburg served as a busy port for a time between ports in Texas, Louisiana, and the eastern United States, as well as Liverpool, England. During 1855, 250 vessels entered Galveston Bay. The vessels carried passengers as well as local agricultural goods. Steamboats. Initially, Lynchburg was overlooked as a hub of steamboat com commerce. By 1850, A.P. Tompkins started a forwarding and shipping company. Steamboats would offload merchandise, then reload cotton and dressed lumber, making Lynchburg one of the busiest ports on the Gulf. And there's a big old tanker right there. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? 
Texas history. I'm at the dock at the bay right here. <laughs> and you can sit down at the dock of the bay and have you a picnic here. Pretty cool. Haven't seen any dolphins yet, but I got my eyes peeled for them. Hear those waves from that big ship, that oil tanker that just went by. This talks about the ferry boats here. Before bridges crossed Texas rivers, ferries operated where roads were separated by deep waterways. Ferry boats were flat raft-like barges that carried wagons, people, and animals. Ferry usage gradually phased out with the advent of steel reinforced and concrete bridge construction after 1912. And this is kind of like a timeline here. Crosby Ferry, 1828. Tascacita Ferry, 1829. Love these old pictures. Market Street Ferry, 1830. Goose Creek, 1830. Zavala Ferry, 1835. And y'all can pause this whenever if y'all want to read these. I'm not going to read them all. Macombs Ferry, 1868. And here comes one more ship coming by. It's amazing how big these really are. I don't know if the video is doing justice, but... And it's amazing the ripples, the waves and the water that these ships make after they go by. So guys, I highly recommend visiting Juan Seguin Historic Park near the San Jacinto Monument, Texas. Hope y'all enjoyed this tour, and I'll be going to the monument itself here in a little bit. I believe it opens at 9 a.m. So guys, with that said, stand your ground. Don't let anything bring you down. Ride with the waves of life. Life is a journey. Enjoy the ride, everybody. Thanks for watching. God bless Texas.